Good afternoon, my amazing scientist. It's Miss Breslin coming at ya with a gizmo today. We are going to practice using spring scales. Um, so we're going to learn how to measure force. Uh, we measure force in newtons. Watch the video. That's this video. Open the Google Doc. I'm going to do what it tells me to. Boom. I'm going to make a copy real quick because I keep writing on your stuff and not on a copy. So I open the Google Doc like it said. Complete the warm-up as a class. That's us. So we're going to do um, the prior knowledge questions before we open the gizmo. So directions, follow the instructions to go through the simulation, respond to the questions and prompts in the orange boxes. Vocabulary, balance, force, gravity, mass, Newton, spring scale, and weight. Prior knowledge questions. Your weight is the pull of gravity on your body. Suppose you step on a bathroom scale on the moon. How would your weight on the moon compare to your weight on earth? Highlight your answer. A, it would be greater on the moon. B, it would be less on the moon. Or C, it would be the same on earth and the moon. So what do you think? So again, to highlight an answer, you're simply going to click in front of it and then click down and drag it across and go up to the highlight tool and choose a color and boom, it's highlighted. But I don't want to highlight your answer, so I'm going to take that off. All right, number two. Your mass is the amount of matter or stuff in your body. How would your mass on the moon compare to your mass on Earth? Highlight your answer. It's greater on the moon, it's less on the moon, or it's the same on Earth and the moon. All right, so here's our warm up. On the weight and mass gizmo, you can use a balance to compare the masses of objects. Place the dog on the right pan of the balance. What happens? All right, so at this point, I need to open my gizmo. So again, to open our gizmo, um, I'm going to type in Breslin R945, and then my password is R-E-D-945. Bam! Never! So if I scroll all the way down, the newest lesson should be down there. Oh, it's not. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I need to look for this. Oh, I don't see this at all. Hold, please. All right, it's at the bottom now. So it is called weight and mass, and you should see a picture of a dog. So if I go back to my Google Doc, it says place the dog on the right pan of the balance. So if I go back here, this is a balance. This is a spring scale. They measure different things. So I'm going to put the dog on here. Oof, what happened? So it's asking me what happened. I'm going to say the dog tipped the scale to the right. Place the five kilogram mass on the other pan. Which has more mass, the dog or the five kilogram mass? I don't know. Let's see. Five kilogram. Oof! Which has more mass? Five kilograms or the dog? So if it's down here further, it's the five kilograms. Five kilograms. All right. The five kilograms or 500 or 5,000 grams mass is heavier than the dog. So take it off the pan and place one kilogram mass on the pan. 
Add one kilogram mass to the left pan until it goes down. Then take one of the one kilogram masses off the pan so the masses are above the dog. What? <laughs> All right. Let me try to comprehend this again. Take it off the pan and place one kilogram. I'm going to do this step by step. All right. You get off one kilogram on the pan. Now what? Add one kilogram masses to the left pan until it goes down. Okay. Okay, it went down. Then take one kilogram mass off the pan so the masses are above the dog. Mm. So now I have to take one off. Okay. Use this process of adding and subtracting other masses from the left pan until the two pans are balanced. Add up all of the masses on the left pan. This equals the mass of the dog. What is the mass of the dog? You can check your answer by clicking the center of the cross beam of the balance. Hmm. Oh, whoops. Way too much. Um, how about 100 grams? So that's too much. Oh, I'm getting closer. Closer. Yeah. So, 2,370 grams. There we go. 2,370 grams. Don't forget your labels because it could be penguins or bananas or pickles, but no, it's cramps. All right, in activity A, you need to get the gizmo ready. This is where I leave you and you can work with a partner on this. Um, click clear scales to remove all objects from the spring scale and the balance. Clear scales. Click the center of the cross beam of the balance to turn off the mass display. All right. Introduction. A spring scale is used to measure force. Since weight is a type of force, a spring scale can measure weight. The metric unit of force is the Newton, N. Question. Will an object's weight change on different planets? Measure. Place the pumpkin on the spring scale. Click the red line on the scale to see the weight measured to the nearest Newton. And I'm just going to show you real quick. This is the spring scale. We're putting the pumpkin here. It said click the red line. So it says 30 newtons. So the weight of the pumpkin would be 30 newtons. And then you keep on going. Okay. This says predict. So you need to make a prediction before you move on to part three. All right. So you're going to do part A. Part B, um, and I'm not sure if we're going to have time for Part C. Maybe that could be some extra credit. All right. Well, I will see you cool cats and tigers tomorrow. Bye. I mean, yeah, tomorrow. <laughs>